I also feel like every time I'm making a YouTube video, I'm wearing this sweater. It's because it's my most comfy sweater, and I enjoy it because it's oversized. But as you saw, I just cleaned up my room a little bit, and don't know if you noticed, but the bookshelf is quite a mess because I did some videos, some TikToks, and some pictures. But I just got a very exciting package that I've been waiting, waiting for for two freaking weeks. So, I figured we'd do a little boxing, unboxing, a little haul. Also, some things that I've bought clothes-wise. I guess we'll do the clothes first, just because I don't know what it is. But I had bought some stuff from Urban Outfitters when they had their 50% off sale online. And... The crazy part in me, the crazy delusional part in me, bought two pairs of low-rise jeans. Um, they did not fit. <laughs> I feel like we all get this thought in our heads where like, we should just keep it, work out, and it'll fit eventually. Not me losing an earring. But I was like, no. That's so uninspiring to do. 
and it's a habit that I really would like to break because then it's not stopping my problem of needing new clothes. It's actually making it worse because now I have stuff just sitting in my closet that I know doesn't fit me and it's a waste of money. So I finally just decided to who return the clothes and I ended up getting new ones. So I bought three new pairs of pants and I really needed some, but I bought these kind of like brown taupe linen pants linen trousers and they're super cute and they were $34.99 um but I love them they're very nice and they're very comfortable and they fit well I also got these green trousers if you know me you know I went through the biggest phase of wearing colorful pants and I still have them and I still like wearing them but butt's gotten a little bigger, stomach's gotten a little bigger, thighs gotten a little bigger. So everything fits but a little snug and I would like to not have too many snug clothes anymore. So rather than torture myself with working out, I just bought new pants. <laughs> so these ones are super cute and they're also a little more toned down because the color pants that I had were very pastel and I'm kind of moving away from the pastel phase of my life and would like to be a little more toned down and a little more adult-like. So I really like these ones. They're super comfortable and they're um, tapered at the end. So they're full length, but they have like a nice tapered shape to them. And they're also pleated. I think literally all of the pants I got are wide leg pleated which are my new favorite pair of pants. I cannot tell you the last time I've worn a pair of skinny jeans. A rip to those, shout out to the millennials still wearing them. The last pair of pants I got are, I don't know what kind of fabric this is, but they're really cute and they're kind of like thick, but nicely lined on the inside. No, they're not, I just lied to you. They're the same on the inside. <laughs> but they're just these also full length, pleated trousers and this really pretty like blue knit color. I like them. They fit really well and they fit snugly. It's the thing that I want my pants to fit just snugly enough where I don't have to wear a belt but not too snug to where I feel uncomfortable eating and sitting down. <laughs> so um, these are really cute and both of these ones and the green ones were $9.99. So Look for them at your local Urban Outfitter. But on to the most fun part that I have been waiting for. I guess we'll do like before actually. <laughs> before we get to that, we could do a little collective book haul of the things that I've gotten recently. I have gone a little overboard with the book buying and I am officially on a book buying ban. <laughs> she said it but um I have gotten quite a few books recently and quite a few for me I know there are some booktubers no tea no shame who buy a lot and I'm not pocket watching at all but this may not look like a lot to you but it was a lot for me no particular order because I actually really can't remember the order that I bought these but the most recent ones I think the oldest one is probably I want to say this one I think I got this in June but yes so I got the secret history I had finally found it at half price books at a reasonable price and for the longest time I was like I'm not reading this book it's too long but I just loved how floppy it was hello and finally just was influenced what else is there to say I was influenced so I got The Secret History which like most people I'm waiting till fall to read so as soon as the clock strikes September 1 expect the fall content I think in the next kind of order of things of purchases, I got, I, 
Now, I'm a very big person on not just buying books because I hate having books that I don't like, but like not being able to return them. Don't like taking them back to half price books because you can take like a bunch of them and get like $2 back. So I just end up with a bunch of books on my shelf that I know I don't like. So I usually try to read a sample on Apple Books first and then see how I'm feeling about it. And this was another book that I was like, I am not reading it. It's stupid. Like, I don't need it. It's not my genre of choice. But once again, I was influenced. <laughs> I was like so heavily influenced. But let me be honest, I was influenced because I was at Half Price Books one day looking, just browsing, and I noticed how pretty, I've always thought this, how pretty the covers are for this book series. And I fell in love with the colors of the second and third one. And I was like, surely I can't just get the second and third one because of the color. Like if I'm going to buy them and be influenced because of how pretty the colors are of the covers, I need to start with the first one. So I had been reading it and I just hadn't been able to get into it. And then I finally got Libby. And if you don't know it, you should definitely get it. But it's basically where you can check out audiobooks from your local library so I was able to get a audiobook of A Court of Thorn and Roses and I listened to it and I was like okay I'm gonna buy the book <laughs> so I got A Court of Thorn and Roses I've already read it and I will do like a little catch-up video of books that I read this summer but this was a purchase Along with that purchase, I also got Funny You Should Ask, and really because I deeply enjoyed the cover, but also because I grew up reading fan fiction, and I know a lot of other people did too, but I grew up reading fan fiction on Wattpad, and this just seemed like the ultimate fan girl story. And a lot of people, I'll keep my review for it till the video but it's tabbed so that was another purchase on the same trip once i finished a court of thorn and roses it was a wrap for me okay i had to i had to so i went ahead and i bought the second and third one yeah <laughs> um i've been converted i'm deeply enjoying this series very deeply enjoying it. I'm currently about halfway through A Court of Mist and Fury and I was reading it and I wasn't really tabbing it much but <laughs> and I'm not even a person who enjoys writing in their books anyone can tell you but I got to a certain point in the book where I was like I just have to write things down and it was let me see literally the first thing I wrote down that changed me converted me was can you even see that it says purr <laughs> Cassian was going off on Nesta and I said purr mm -hmm. naturally I got a court of ring a court of wings and ruin I didn't get the blue cover whatever that book's name is just because it wasn't on sale yet on Amazon I got these books for twenty dollars like they were on sale for $12.49, but if you bought two of them at the same time, you got to pay only $9.99 for each of them. So I think that was a pretty economic choice for me. I had to get it while they were on sale. Once I bought those two, I was like, okay, I've spent a lot of money on books. I really need to stop. Then I found myself in town waiting to go get my mom. And I was like, you know, let me kill some time and go to half price books. To which I found happy hour. <laughs> so, I got this one. I got this one because I had remembered seeing it on TikTok. And then the cover also reminded me of Writers and Lovers. So I went ahead and got it. And it's a really interesting story about two female friends. I'm a big female friendship story lover so any story that has anything to do with female friendships i enjoy reading it so i got this one haven't read it yet started it has the bookmark in it and a tab but we'll come back to that one later so then i was like oh bought that one felt the need to hide it from my mother from the purchase but i was like oh, whatever 
I was like, okay, I really need to stop. I really, really need to stop. And then there was the book outlet $5.99 sell. And it just happened. It just happened. So before we get to that sale, what I got in the sale, which is a box that just came today, I did get a couple books from book outlet. Then I said, okay, for real, for real this time, we're on a book buying ban. We cannot buy another book. I have more than enough books on my bookshelf to read. I don't need another one. <sighs> then I was on TikTok and I realized I was getting anxious. I wanted my books so bad. It was taking forever for it to ship. So I looked up book outlet haul to see if other people had gotten their books already from the sale and people did. And then something popped up about Ollie's Bargain Factory, whatever it's called. I passed by it so many times and I was like, that looks gross, I'm not going in there. But apparently they have amazing book sales in there. So naturally I had to go see what it looked like. And I did find this book and tell me the cover is not so pretty. It's pretty, okay? I had to get it. It's feminist, it's glorious Steinem. And it was, what, $4? Had to buy it. Got it. But this is officially, hopefully, the last book that I will buy in 2022. Drum roll, please. We've got a book outlet haul. <laughs> I have never bought a book from a book outlet before, but I had known about the website for years. Like, since I was in high school, I'm pretty sure. But I've never really been an um, online shopper kind of person. But a lot of that changed with the pandemic, blah, 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 blah. But the deal, too good. The book I've been wanting had been on there, just not at the price I was willing to pay for it quite yet. And then the deal was just entirely too good for me to pass it up. So let's just go ahead and open it up. Not a graceful open at all. What's the point of having a perforated <laughs> strip? If the perforated strip's not gonna work. Yay! Amazing, wonderful, and I also was forgetting. I like forgot what books I got. I'm actually so happy right now. <laughs> I've been waiting for this forever. Literally checking the shipping every single day, and it looks like they all shipped in good condition. I got six books. Money does buy you happiness sometimes, y'all. So first, I got Night Shift by. Kiar Ladner, I believe is how you pronounce her name, and to my understanding, this is a female friendship book um, that kind of turns toxic. It sounds really interesting, and it's basically about two women who are co-workers and kind of form this really weird female friendship that kind of teeters on the line of obsession, which chef's kiss very interested in reading this and i got wahala by nikki may and i hadn't heard too much about this book but it's also um featuring black british main character female main characters and it's also about female friendship which hit all of the criteria for books necessary but to my understanding, it's a story about three friends, three girlfriends who are in like their 30s or 40s, whatever, um, navigating life. And they've all done kind of tricky things. Um, and then a fourth one joins the group and it starts off fun. They're all friends and then it kind of starts to turn a little more sinister to my understanding. So once again love books that have things to do with female friendships turned gone turned wrong or female friendships that have turned gone girl i also okay i've seen the old book cover i want to say for supper club by laura williams and it's 
so much prettier than this one, but I don't think they print that version anymore, which is very unfortunate. But I did get Supper Club, which is once again a story about female friendships. I don't know, like I see it a lot on TikTok about feminine rage or unhinged woman, which is a discussion all on its own, but I think it's really interesting reading stories about female or about women deconstructing the gender roles they've been forced to live in and doing it in kind of a crazy way. It's basically about a 30-year-old woman who feels adrift and alienated in her life and is really trying to not take up a lot of space and basically these women build a group together and uh, they begin to take up space and it's about female friendship and the literal and figurative hunger we have as a hungry girl myself <laughs> i'm interested in reading this now those are the three books that i didn't know too much about had saw them like the covers like the synopsis got them these three books i have been waiting for okay waiting for a very nice girl by imogen crimp i feel like this book is a secret to no one and if it is it's all right i'm not shaming you this story is about a young woman who begins to have a relationship with a younger with an older man and she's a singer and they meet in like this bar and i read like the first couple of pages a while ago so i can't remember off the top of my head exactly how it plays out it says it's a bitingly honest darkly funny debut about ambition sex power and love a very nice girl cracks open the timeless questions of what it is to be young what it is to be wanted and what it is to find your calling but lose your way to it love bye put in cart <clears throat> And now I'm like really hyping these up, but it's really not that big of a deal, but I've been waiting for them. I'm so happy at the price that I got them at too. Like I could have bought them a long time ago, but trying to be thrifty, trying to be frugal, okay? Living on a budget. Okay, I finally got Ace of Spades. I read the sample of this so long ago i want to say i read it in february because it was i yeah i was going to buy it in february and wanting to read this four no five ever i've been wanting to read it five ever and now that it's fall it's coming the perfect time you can read it dark academia and it's what i've been wanting dark academia with black people i don't feel like it's a lot to ask for but apparently it is in the liter literature world but we finally got it and then finally it was only right for me to get this book considering a how much i love this author b how i already have the other books by her and c purely because the cover is so cute never been happier i finally got it beautiful world where are you by sally rooney i have literally read almost everything by her I've read Normal People, Conversations with Friends. I read The Clinic, which was the prequel. Not really a prequel, but like the little article shorts. Not article. It's a short story she read. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's the short story she wrote with Marianne and Connell before she wrote Normal People. So I read that maybe like a couple of weeks ago. I think the last thing I have to read is Mr. Salary. But... I finally got Sally Rooney and I have to be so honest, take it as you wish, but I get so disrespectful when I hear people say that they don't like Sally, Rooney, Sally Rooney's writing and I'm like, just say you've never been depressed before. It takes less words, okay? I enjoy the way that she writes her characters because it feels like a lot of the thoughts that I've had and never voiced to anyone else or to my friends or had conversations like this with people she has written them down and i love that <laughs> i do give it to people that her books are a little slow to get into in the beginning this book i did read the sample and i wasn't convinced immediately if i wanted it 
just because it was kind of slow but the same thing happened with conversation with friends where it took me a minute to actually get into the book but once I did I deeply loved it like I'm pretty sure I read conversation with friends half on ebook before I decided to just finally go and buy the book that is a wrap that is everything that I have for books now it's just a matter of figuring out how it's going to all fit on my bookshelf um I think for the rest of today I'm honestly probably just going to read a little bit I should write today <laughs> I don't feel like writing today which just really is not a good enough reason not to I'm going to go bother my mother now to show her the books that I should not have bought some other stuff for the bridal shower coming up and now it's 10 we can't see that it's 10 55 and I'm going to go ahead and finish setting up the rest of my bookshelf putting my books away um and hold on it's really bright I'm just listening to some music for now I I watch so much YouTube and I'm on my phone all the time and I watch a lot of TikToks and I just really need to stop. <laughs> but um, I just can't seem to be able to sit down quietly without any sound. <laughs> um, and problems to solve a different day. <laughs>